Hey guys, it's me, the Game McFly. Um, New Year! <laughs> um, so, and I guess there is the revelation, if I had to have one, of make of putting more videos up. Definitely getting the Wildman stuff back on, yeah, just like back going again. Just the slideshows are taking forever. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, then that just most of the ideas I just I come up with it one day and then just forget about the next. Anyway, what we're talking about today, Jurassic World Evolution 2. Love the game. Big problem over the map selection. Primarily two things. One, the map <laughs> like there's like three or four maps in the entire game that are essentially alpine maps and what's like Great, dinosaurs and Christmas trees and snow. It's great. Like, don't get me wrong. It's an amazing look. The first five times. <laughs> then eventually it's like, alright, something new, please. So with this, much in a similar way with my Night Museum video, I have, uh, have started this. Just kind of different map ideas. First one, it comes up with the other complaint I have with the map selection. All of them are on the West Coast. I know it's furthest, like, one... We get this really still within the U.S. is the Pennsylvania map. And that's it. One map on the East Coast. The rest of them are out West. So. So kind of, yeah, I have these couple of ideas. Um, yeah, with our first selection. First one, Kansas. Or just somewhere in the Midwest and around the Great Plains. I figure, and of course with a lot of these, I also have the idea of having more, like, I guess, themed to the area. Kind of thing, so, it's just like extra decorations to put into the enclosure. Again, in this case, with Kansas, primarily focusing on the fact that it's the Midwest and farmland. Yeah, like some prop broke down tractor or again yeah like an old car from like the 50s or whatever that's been like just basically running out in the woods um oh yeah just, I just kind of have the iconography of like a Paris Ralph is or just like some herbivore dinosaurs moving their way through yeah where it's pretty much yeah, a wheat field like a farmer's field that would be a fun idea um, that and also the disasters, <laughs> like the kind of the extreme weather condition, it's Tornado Alley. It's basically there in the name, just a massive, massive, probably out of F4 or F5 tornado just, yeah, blowing into the park. Um, yeah, so next idea, kind of, it's Louisiana slash Florida. Basically comes down like some yeah, some kind of a swamp idea. So pretty much yeah, the Florida one is either yeah, pretty much a map set somewhere within the Everglades. In the case, you know, you want a more spread out very much as big chunks of water around, or if you want a more densely yeah, densely packed swamp map, that's where the Louisiana comes in. Basically building Jurassic Park out in the middle of the bayou. There's that. Plus, yeah, the fact of like you pretty much have like dinosaurs like Spinosaurus and Sucumimus, which in the fossil record, yeah, which in the fossil record was supposed to basically exist in essentially swamps. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, at least coastal wetlands. So that'd be great. Next one is. Michigan. I should also probably say not just the, not just not just individual in these maps, but just those kinds of locations. So again, like an open prairie farmland. Again, like somewhere down in the south of the U.S. Yeah, just in the deep south with the swamps. And then the case with Michigan, just oh yeah, up by the Great Lakes. And then actually with the case of Michigan, having the park literally be basically bumped up next to the coastline of Lake Michigan. Actually have it be built right next to one of the Great Lakes. 
So, you know, that wouldn't be a problem when the Mosasaur gets out. Uh... <laughs> And the next, yeah, I, I have four instead of three options this time. Um, the next one is Hawaii. Now, I know for the most part, kind of the whole reason why we even got mul like the multi bio maps because everyone got sick and tired in the last game of pretty much building Jurassic Park in the middle of a jungle. Um, but I figured for the most part, in the case of Hawaii Island, Mainly the island of Kauai, where they actually filmed a lot of the Jurassic Park movie, because I figured it would be kind of a nice meta level there. Yeah, actually kind of reconfiguring and resetting it, and actually having it be essentially just Jurassic Park, you know, the beachfront resort <laughs> with a massive sandbar that pretty much is. It was just a massive chunk of shoreline that people can actually go down and actually build onto very similar to the Germany map. Um, I'm just scrolling down here. Yeah, that's what, that was the American map. The next one, one of my favorite maps to work on in the game is the San Diego map, which is pretty much supposed to be from the second Lost World movie. And yeah, the whole thing of actually pretty much building, again, a Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Park within like a 20 to 30 mile drive from downtown San Diego it's fun. So kind of, that's the next idea here. Um, we have Chicago. <laughs> I, again, I don't know why, but I figure, like, again, just kind of, especially for the most part, if you have more like, instant, like, recognizable bits, buildings and skyscrapers with the city in the background while you build your park, like, that'd be fun. <laughs> That would be that would be fun. Um and yeah, that especially gets in the case when it comes to the next two. Um Yeah, Washington DC, yeah, actually building it yeah, building building again Jurassic Park more than twenty miles away from the, Yeah, yeah, from the um uh, from a capital city of the entire US. Um yeah, from D.C. That'd be fun. At least for me. Again, I, I feel like that'd be an amazing idea. Especially, again, if you can automatically see, like, the Washington Memorial sticking out and, like, yeah, like, Capitol Hill or whatever. That'd be a fun idea. Next up is, yeah, New York. Yeah, pretty much having, uh, yeah, you like the shot of, like, a Brachiosaurus, or again, like the T-Rex roaring up in the sky with the iconic New York back, yeah, pretty much just skyline in the background. Dude, I would love it. <laughs> I, I I would absolutely love that. Um, and then I guess kind of, it's just kind of a fun thing. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, pretty much building... A like Jurassic, yeah, you know, yeah, a version of Jurassic World within again, like probably a half an hour to forty five minute drive from pretty much the city that was literally built essentially by country music. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and then kind of the next section. I know I'm kind of speeding through these a bit, but. Um, next one are kind of more overseas maps. The other two maps I enjoy look at least working on, yeah, it's the Germany and UK maps. And again, primarily just because, oh, thank God, they're out of the US. They're not in America. <laughs> yeah, even in most most of I know it's Can the Canada map, but even they kind of just go off the North American continent and over in Europe. So, when speaking of Europe, uh, France. <laughs> That's the first one here. Is, yeah, France. And kind of the thing with France is obviously the idea of, like, oh, yeah, in the background, you could have probably the case of, like, probably, yeah, some old medieval cathedral or some old, like, just castle. Again, probably just taking the city idea 
and have pretty much have it be like next to the skyline of Paris and just have the Eiffel Tower in the background. That'd be I again I would love that. Um the next one is Tanzania. Yeah, a map that's actually set in Africa, primarily in and around the Serengeti. And for the most part, this was actually the idea that inspired me the most because I feel like okay, next to the San Diego map, this would be the one map if we would, if this idea was used by Frontier, yeah, 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 used by the game devs. I would basically build every single one of my parks on. <laughs> I would build every single one of my parks on because the simple fact that yeah, I'm just pretty much yeah putting and building Jurassic Park. And what is essentially the backdrop of the Lion King. Uh, uh, it's, yeah. Next bit. Yeah, next one is Japan. I mean, tell me it would not be an amazing sight to see a herd of stegosauruses yeah, moving through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even kind of just a case with me of like, I'm going to adjust it for a second. Um, yeah, having to basically... Yeah, like seeing a Brachiosaurus' head. Yeah, like just like its neck sticking out from underneath... Like an entire forest, essentially, of... Yeah, of cherry blossom trees. With Mount Fuji in the background. Like, okay... Yeah, I'll, I'll put that there. Um, and the next one, kind of the more boring maps, and I will admit, like some of the more boring maps to work on are the desert maps because, well, it's the desert. <laughs> Giant things of sand. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but I think it'll just be spicing it up a little bit. Australia. Yeah, I know. Like, there weren't already a billion and a half things in that one landmass that can't kill you enough. Well, let's throw dinosaurs into the mix. That sounds safe. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, building, like, a Jurassic Park kind of just, yeah, out in the middle of the outback. I Again, I would find that immensely fun. Again, much like in the case with Mount Fuji, again, with a Japanese idea... If you're able to put like pretty much like Uluru or like that big rock thing that basically becomes like the national landmark of Australia. Yeah, if that thing's in the background. Yes. <laughs> now for the most part, a couple honorable mentions I did have. Uh, at least two. I can remember off the top of my head. One was Egypt. Again, kind of a more Arabian style desert instead of well, the Southwest and like yeah, the Arizona map, which is basically the Wild West. Um, yeah, you have yeah Egypt, especially if you can get again the icon of the pyramids in the background. That'd be fun. Uh, next one is actually directly north of it, uh, Greece, and primarily having a Jurassic Park built. Within like at least like a stone's throw away from Athens, so now you can pretty much have the Parthenon in the background. Um, and speaking of cities, actually, yeah, the last one, the third one, is Vegas. I mean, literally in the campaign, one of the first thing, pretty much one of the last things you have to do is essentially get a bunch of stack, uh, transport a bunch of stack of sources from Vegas to your Arizona like facility, so. Let's actually build a Jurassic Park from Vegas. Plus, I'm going to be honest, if there's one city in the entirety of America, in which case a natural Jurassic Park might pop up, at least one that has a big budget behind it, it's going to be Vegas. Um, so, but yeah. It's kind of it. Um, now, for the most part, if you have played the game... And 
Do you have any ideas for? Yeah, if anyone of you guys have any ideas for, like any like any really fun ideas for new maps and draft Yeah, for Evolution Two, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, I would love. Yeah, to go through them. But uh, yeah, of course, yeah. Again, like I guess speaking of Jurassic, we have Dominion coming out. I'll try to get a review out of that, or at least you know a reaction to the trailer, which is something <laughs> yeah a thing but uh yeah like comment subscribe again youtube stuff bell bell has to be a thing there's a car door yeah neighbors anyway <laughs> bye